than the other larger standing stones. Five beautiful megaliths make up the X-shaped nether largy standing stones. To the south is a pair of stones which resemble a gateway. As you walk north you will come to a small box shaped four stone setting. Just beyond this is a second four stone setting which contains the central megalith. This standing stone is covered in ancient cup marks which are carved circular depressions. Three of these cups are enclosed by a ring. As you walk north beyond the central stone is a second set of beautiful megaliths. A small outlier stone can be seen a hundred metres to the north. Another outlier once stood to the west 300 metres away which is no longer visible. Nether Largy South Cairn is also visible from the stones. In a documentary about the work of archaeoastronomer Alexander Tom called Cracking the Stone Age Code, is footage of Professor Tom at the central megalith explaining that the top of the stone points to a notch in the hill where the moon sets at the northwest on its most northerly extreme position. The Nether Largy Standing Stones were quoted by Alexander Tom as the most important lunar observatory in Britain. Professor Tom also found alignments with the stones and the nearby Templewood circles. In recent years, analysis supports the theory that the stones were positioned to lunar rise and sets at important times in the 18.61 year cycle. These nether largy standing stones no doubt hold many secrets. The ancient people aligned these three metre high stones to the equinox sunsets which fall on March the 20th and September the 23rd. This is the time of year when night and day are of equal length. There is also an alignment with the winter solstice sunrise. This also happens at the nearby Ballymena standing stones. Winter solstice falls on December the 21st, which is the darkest day of the year. These solstice and equinox events were of utmost importance to our ancient ancestors. They were no doubt skilled in learning the natural movements of the sun and moon. The ancient people would have carefully chosen the Comartan Glen location for its landscape observation features. It is thought the standing stones were erected about 1200 BC which would make them Bronze Age. The central stone cup marks are thought to be older by 1,500 years, which may indicate the standing stone was originally part of a decorated outcrop like Cairnban in its original incarnation. <laughs>